What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to get started using the sheet metal modeling tools inside of Fusion 360. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so what I wanna do in this video is I wanna introduce you to the tool set contained inside of the sheet metal tools in Fusion 360. And so what I wanna do is um, I wanna give you kind of an overview of the way that this works so that you can start modeling with it. If there are specific questions or specific applications you'd like to see, let me know and we can get into those in the future. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over into the tab that says Sheet Metal, and we're gonna use this in order to create a sheet metal design. And so pretty much every time you create an object inside of Fusion 360 that's going to be a sheet metal object, like something that you might I want to make a flat pattern out of or something like that, you're going to want to start by creating a new component. So we're going to click on new component. And in this case, we're going to create an empty component. You can name it if you want to. And then notice that you can set um, the rules for this. So you can set if this is going to be steel, if it's going to be aluminum, other things like that. Um, when you first start, right here. So pick your material. I'm just going to leave it as steel for right now and click on OK. So all that did is that created an object over here called component one. And then from there, we're going to start by creating a base shape that we're going to create our sheet metal from. So to do that, we're gonna click on the button for create sketch. So this is gonna operate in exactly the same way as sketch mode um, in the solid modeling tool set works. And what we wanna do is we just wanna click on this face right here, and we're just going to start by drawing a base shape. So I'm just gonna draw a simple rectangle for this example. So we'll just draw a rectangle. We'll call it two and a half by two and a half and click on finish sketch. And so what we've done is we've created an object that we can then use in order to start creating our sheet metal. And so the first thing you need to do is you need to give this thickness, which we're gonna do using the flange option up above. So this is gonna allow us to give our metal a thickness. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate the flange option then just click on this face right here. And notice how at the moment, the only thing it's gonna allow me to do is it's gonna allow me to create a thickened object, right? So I can't do anything else with this yet because there's no actual material in here. And so we're just gonna click on OK. What that's gonna do is that's gonna give us the thickness of our metal. Well then, we can use the flange tool in, in order to start adding flanges. So notice how when I click on the flange tool and then I mouse over these different edges, they kinda highlight. And so what that indicates is that indicates that you can use this in order to create a flange or a bent piece of metal. So I'm gonna click on this one, for example, when I click on this one, what this is going to do is this is going to give me a little arrow. Well, if I click and drag on this little arrow, notice that what this is doing is this is basically giving me, it's automatically giving me a bend in this piece of metal. And so you can set the angle that this is bent by using this rotation tool right here or by entering a value over here, as well as adjusting some other items as well. So you can set if your bend position is gonna be inside or outside. Um, you can set if it's gonna be adjacent. And so what you can do is you can use this in order to create these different flanges. So now if I click on OK, and then I reactivate the flange tool and click on like this edge, for example, notice how I can add something in here that allows me to bend this again. So I can use this to basically start adding different pieces of metal, different flanges inside of Fusion 360. And so one of the cool things about this is you can select multiple edges when you do this. So for example, I can do a shift click and I can select all of these and then I can use this to bend this up in order to create a sheet metal shape right here. And notice how what this is doing at the moment is this is giving this to me just as if these were bent up and they were created as like tabs. And so there's also, also multiple different options for the ways that you can extrude based on edges or you create flanges based on edges. So for example, with this flange tool, what we were doing before is we've set this to be the full edge, right? So what this is gonna do is this is going to basically bend this along this full edge, just like this. However, there's also options over here for symmetric. And so what symmetric means is not only can you adjust um, how long this end is, but you can also adjust symmetrically on both sides if this has an offset like this, or you could also set it where one side is different than the other. 
So this allows you a lot of different options for the creation of things like tabs. So for example, let's say, and uh, what we could do here is we could flip this so that it goes the other direction, but you could actually model this out and then bend it down. So we could use this in order to kind of align this with this other shape. If we wanted to, we probably would have wanted to extrude this up a little bit. And so we could also use this to bend this flange over this edge. And obviously there's some things we might want to adjust here, but for right now, let's say we wanted to adjust this flange so that it bends over this face right here. Well, what you could do, because you can see how this is intersecting this object right now, but you could adjust your bend position so that it's adjacent like this. Well, when it's adjacent, what that allows you to do is that allows you to take this shape and actually create it so that it bends over something. And obviously there's some more work that can be done to make this work exactly, but you can see the power of creating these flanges inside of the sheet metal tool. So the other cool thing about this is you can also um, use the tools in here to create a flat pattern. So you can actually use this in order to create cutouts of different metal pieces. It can be sent to different uh, cutting or routing machines or whatever you want here um, by using this flat pattern tool. So the way that works is you click on this button for create flat pattern. It's going to ask for a stationary face. So in this case, I'm just going to select this face right here and click on OK. Well, what this is going to do, because this is built with the sheet metal tools, this is actually going to go through and this is going to figure out, it's going to give you kind of a cutting diagram in here. It's also going to give you bend points for these objects. So you can export this to like a DXF or kind of whatever you want to. You can also create a plan with this tool. So by using this, what this allows you to do is this allows you to model something in 3D and then flatten it um, so that you can uh, cut the different parts and pieces up the way that you want them to be. And notice if you ever want to go back to your 3D view, you can just click on this button right here to finish your flat pattern. That'll take you back to your 3D view. Then you can view that flat pattern just by coming over here, see how this gets created as a flat pattern in your uh, browser. You can right click on this and click on activate and that'll take you to that view. So you can move back and forth between those just by doing that. And I believe, though I haven't really tested this, I believe you can make changes to that and it'll update. But again, I haven't really had a chance to test that option quite yet. So that is a very fast, very high level overview of the sheet metal tools inside of Fusion 360. Leave a comment below. Let me know what else you'd like to see with this tool set. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.